So here's a nice one. Here is the equation you want the delta H for. It's N2 plus O2 makes N2O5. Now you're going to say, chem guy, if I had a molar heat of formation for N2O5, I could just look that up because this is an equation that N2O5 is forming from its elements and because there's a 2 in front, if I had the molar heat of formation in front of me, I'd multiply it by 2 and I'd have the answer. You are absolutely right. Good job. Now, if you don't have N2O5 on a chart of molar heat of formation, and you are given three other equations, and you're told that those three equations can be added together to make that net one, then you got some manipulating to do. So let's get started. Okay, remember the rules. Don't worry about the elements. They take care of themselves. Just worry about the compounds. Okay, I start with my net equation. Well, that's an element. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'll go on to the next one. Well, that's an element, and I am going to worry about that. The first thing I'm going to worry about is the N2O5. Okay, so I go down here and I look for N2O5, and I find it. The N2O5 is a reactant here in the quantity of 1. And I don't want it as a reactant, I want it as a product, and I want it in a quantity of 2. So that means I'm going to take this equation right here, and I'm going to write it out again in reverse. So it's going to be HNO3 makes the N2O5 plus the H2O, delta H equals 76.6 kilojoules. I've just taken this equation, written it in reverse, as you can see, and now I get rid of this one, because I'm done with it. Now, yeah, I did say that I wanted N2O5 on the right side, that's what I did, but now I want two of them. So notice I just did, I just did step by step, okay, I reversed it, now I'm going to multiply everything. So multiply everything by what? By 2. So I'm going to make that a 4. What am I going to do in front here? I'm going to make that a 2. Multiply that by 2. And that's a water liquid. And then the delta H, what am I going to do? I already changed it from a negative to a positive. I'm going to take that number and multiply it by 2. I'm just going to do it that like that for now, right? Okay, so now, look, I've got the N2O5 on a proper side. But now, hey, man, the, the, like, that, you can't add these together and get this yet. And I'll tell you why. Because the waters are on the same side here, and they've got to be on the opposite side to cancel because there's no water in that net equation. Take care of the compounds now. So now we're going to look at this, and we're going to say, okay, I can't touch this equation. It is sacrosanct because I've already manipulated it to get that 2N2O5s on that proper side. I ain't touching that one. Well, what do I got to do with these now to cancel out the compounds to leave me with the elements that are going to be able to make this? Okay, well, first things first. I've got four HNO3s here, and I don't want them in the net equation, so they've got to cancel. I've got HNO3s over here. But they're in the quantity of four here, and I can't touch this equation, quantity of one here. Multiply that bottom equation by four, right? So here's the thing. If I multiply that by four, I get four here. If I multiply that heat by four, I get that times four, right? Now, what about all this times four? Well, a half four times a half is going to make two. 4 times 3 halves. What's 4 times 3? 12. Divided by 2? 6. So that's 6 right there. What do I do with that H2? Well, times 2, that's going to give us, well, 2 times a half. Oh, sorry, 4. 4 times a half, right? So 4 times a half uh, is going to give us 2 H2s. Okay, so now I've canceled out the HNO3s. I get that. Okay, great. But there's that water. Water's got to go too. Water's a compound. I've got to get rid of it. So this equation right here has water in it, but I need the waters on the opposite side here. Can't touch this equation. I've got to get the water over here. So I'm going to take H2O right there, and I'm going to reverse this reaction to make H2 plus uh, 1 half O2, and the delta H is going to equal positive 285.8, right? Kilojoules. Yeah, okay. But wait, now that I've reversed that, which is good, I've got to get rid of this equation. Hey, i got two here. I need two to cancel out here. Two of those, two of those. Two times a half is one. That times two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just telling you that the elements are going to work out for themselves and everything's going to be fine. Do you trust me?
N2 here, there's no N2 on this side. So that's N2. By the way, there's two N2s. Plus, okay, here we go. The two H2Os cancel the two H2Os. Good. The four HNO3s cancel with four HNO3s. Good. Two H2s and two H2s. Good. Mmm, six O2s. I wanted five. Ah, one O2. <laughs> there's one oxygen here, there's six here. That cancels out one and leaves us with five O2s to make two N2O5s. So the delta H equals 28.4 kilojoules, right there. Uh, yeah, one number after decimal, one number after decimal, one number after decimal, keep one number after the decimal. It's nice, hey? So just follow those rules about canceling out those compounds, leave the elements till the very end, and it works out great.